honor to be sitting here with Miss Delisha Milton Jones. She is a 12-year veteran uh, for the LA Sparks and one of my idols. Okay, oh, been playing for a while, Florida, mm -hmm. uh, two-time WNBA champion, and I've been asking all the women that play overseas. Mm -hmm. You guys don't have a break. No. And I must ask, you know, how do you fight fatigue mm -hmm. and also stay healthy? Because there's really only a few weeks in between coming home from overseas and coming back with the Sparks. Yes. Uh, well, the way that I do it personally is uh, every year I always, wherever, no matter what country I'm in, I always find um, a trainer. Okay. And usually it's probably one affiliated with the soccer team mm -hmm. because usually the countries have good soccer yeah, teams. Very so conditioned. They, yeah. Okay. You know, and so they really know how high level athletes uh, train and perform and how they think. And so I give them my schedule for the WNBA as well as my European schedule. And I'm like, look, this is what I have going on. And I need for you to formulate a workout plan okay. for me to where I'm peaking at the right moments. Mm. And um, not if I do go down, it's not a deep valley that okay. I have to fall down okay. into. And so we look at it strategically from that standpoint and we go from there. That's just my personal journey. Okay. What everyone else does, I couldn't speak on. But that's what's been working for me for all of these years as well as uh, taking supplements and my minerals and my vitamins and the yoga. Yeah. And, and, and just the, the weightlifting, the strength training, all of those. Just trying to stay on top of my game Absolutely. because injuries plague you when you don't train Absolutely. properly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. even though you're playing a lot, people think that oh well, I'm playing, so I'm in shape. But no, yeah, you may be way. in shape to run. That's right. But you might not be in shape to sustain physical contact Absolutely. when you're tired. Mm. That's the key. Yes. You know, anybody can yes. do it when you're fresh and feeling mm -hmm. good, but when you're tired, are you still quarter, able to take those same bumps and bruises? Right. Yes, absolutely. So I train with all of that in mind, okay. Okay. you know, and people look at me like I'm oh, crazy, whether it's the European teams, the coaches, or the general managers, they're like, you work too much, you must rest. And I'm like, mm-mm. <laughs> That's I what, know my body. That, exactly. And, mm -hmm. you know, you, you uh, with the Sparks last year, you were top three rebounds, points, assists. So, mm -hmm. I mean, just the fact that you're able to play and still be on top of your game. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of which, coming into our 15th year of yes. the WNBA, mm -hmm. hearing that Miss Cheryl Swoops will yes, be back. back. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited about that. Yeah. Tell me what that means to you. You, Tina Thompson, Cheryl Swoops, wow. players that have just continue to inspire me mm -hmm. and also young women that want to play in the WNBA or that have. Yeah. How does that feel to be uh, here in the 15th year with wow. the Sparks? It, it is heartwarming for me you know, to know that I've stood the test of time. Mm -hmm. And I came in this league when you had some of your greats like Andrea Stinson, oh, yeah. Yolanda Griffin, yeah, yeah. oh my gosh, Natalie Williams, uh, just to name a few, to go to Lisa Leslie, now I see the next generation yeah. with uh, Candace Parker, now Maya Moore, yeah, yeah, yeah. hopefully I'll be around when Brittany Graham plays, I don't know, we'll you will, you will, but, you, you know, will. just to see myself stand the test of time and see all these different generations yeah. of basketball come and go, mm -hmm. I'm proud yeah. for myself and I'm proud for the league mm -hmm. and for women in sports in general. Absolutely. And I hope that um, David Stern will continue to support us yeah, yeah, and yeah. continue to have a vision for us because the vision he had for us 15 years ago has come to fruition Absolutely. and I hope that it can last 15 years more because women in sports definitely deserve this opportunity. Yes, yes. I definitely mm -hmm. think that the, the time is now mm -hmm. um, with you know the looming NBA lockout coming. Mm -hmm. People still want to come to the Staples Center That's right. and guess what? We can sit a little closer oh. and not have to come out the pocket. That's right. So I'm excited to be able to cover the games mm -hmm. and also just be, you know, you you said with women in sports. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, I was talking to a few of the other girls, and some of them are married or in relationships. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you have three hours of practice. Yeah. You got to ice, yeah. and you got to come home, yeah. uh, and, and and you know fit into that you know domestic hitter role. I ask you, mm -hmm. how do you do that <laughs> um, and not want to slap somebody? <laughs> you tired? Your ankles hurt? The raw and uncut. Yes. Like um, for me, I love being a wife. 
I love being all domesticated yes. and all that, you know, cooking dinner, yes. cleaning, making sure. You know, they had me cook the turkey on Christmas. Everybody's still alive, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'll do it again. I don't know. Nobody it's passed so out, you know. It's, so I guess I'll do it again. But yes, go on, go on. Yeah, but, um, I love, you know, doing duties like that, and I love being an athlete. Mm-hmm. So when you have a love for anything, you're going to put your heart into it. But that's what right, happens right. when fatigue sets in? That's what I'm asking. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I have my days where when I walk in that door, my husband knows, like, babe, I'm just going to go and uh, run to the store and just give you a couple of hours by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> he'll be at Target for four days. <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Or he'll, do, like, he does really sweet things for me, like, when he sees I'm tired or worn down like that, babe, I'm going to set up a massage for you. Oh, I'm going to have the lady it. come to the house. I love it. And um, he'll it. leave, and I'll just have my one, two hours to myself. Or um, he'll do things like scheduling a manicure or pedicure or knowing that I, I'm tired and I don't even want to go and sit in those yeah. salon to get my hair done. Bring them to you. He'll schedule all those things for me. So he really, we have a good relationship yeah. and we work well together. And uh, we read each other well because he was a former athlete himself. Oh, there it he is. He played basketball. So he understands Absolutely. what I go through on a daily basis. Absolutely. And he knows when I come in, and, and this is funny, anybody else, as soon as you come on, you want to kick your shoes off. Yeah. Well, with me, I don't know what it is. I, I just like putting on my high heel shoes and walking around the house in because it's just feels good. I don't know. Feel why. like a woman. <laughs> Shania Twain. <laughs> oh, I love it. it. Yeah, so it seems that just having a supportive partner mm-hmm. and just that's your partner in crime. He'd look you in the eye and say, you know what? I am going to ask her to cook some chicken tonight. I'm going to get yeah, some, totally some fast yeah. food. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. Well, I just I want to say that you are such an inspiration. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I'm excited for this new class and I, I love the blendage mm-hmm. of uh, old school and new school. Yes. So I'm yes. excited to be covering the game. And thank you so much for being so candid and authentic. You're welcome. Oh. It's been a pleasure. To see what you get. That's right. Delisha Milton Jones, thank yeah. you.